Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to create awesome 3D section views in Revit mainly for presentation purposes instead of the generic Revit section views and to do this we will be using the 3D camera tool with a few minor adjustments to achieve this look. So stick around to find out. So here we are in Revit, we have a two-story small house uh, project and our goal is to create a 3D section that looks similar to a regular architectural section. To do this, we need to go to our plan view and add a 3D camera view. Now, our first uh, impression will be to place our camera at the location where we want the section to be located. Uh, the problem is if we do this, the camera is too close to the actual building and even if you make things, if I make our window larger, it doesn't look quite similar to an actual sectional view. So what we want to do is delete this camera we already placed, the camera view delete it so it's not in our way and uh, what we want to do is place the camera but this time further away from the building to make it look similar to the architectural section and view so let's select this location here outside of our model and now very important we need to orient the direction of the camera of the camera face on onto our structure parallel to the grid lines and perpendicular to the building otherwise if we make it slanted it would look more than a 3d view rather than a section view so this looks approximately horizontal click anywhere outside the building and uh, you can see that our 3D view now is placed away from the model and we can uh, currently see in front of us the boundary perimeter walls and our view is showing the building from the exterior so what we want to do now is change our camera position to be inside the building to show as a sectional view this is fairly easy move out a little bit scroll out and in the properties panel where it says section box I will turn on the section box and it will appear here on our screen if we move out a little bit you can see this is the perspective sectional box so select the box the section box and uh, while the section box is selected go back to your plan view and now we can see the section box shown in the plan view. What we need to do is click on the move arrows here and drag them to the location we want our section to start. Go back to our 3D view and now you can see that our camera view is starting from a section and out. Let's hide this section box for now. I'm not going to delete it because I need the section box to be present. I'm just going to hide it. So right click on the actual section box and select hide in view elements. Now scroll in a little bit. Crop our view to hide most of the ground elements and a bit of the top and I think we are fine with regards to our positioning. We can also hide the crop view with the same method right click hide in view elements. Now that we have our camera positioned uh, correctly uh, we can start changing the display adding some ambient uh, shadows and uh, cast shadows and make it look much nicer. So the first thing I would uh, usually do is come back down here at the visual styles button 
select the graphic display options and uh, inside the shadows section I usually turn on the ambient shadows hit apply and uh, it already started to look really nice now the cache shadows which this is the same as the cache shadows button uh, here at the bottom the cast shadows uh, it's up to you they're usually very hard and uh, if we want we can reduce the opacity make it more transparent open the lighting section here and uh, reduce the shadows value usually somewhere around 20 works fine hit apply very nice so let's see this again in the visual styles button select the graphic options graphical options and under shadows section you can turn on the ambient and the cast shadows as you wish next thing I want to do is uh, whatever is being cut I want to give it, give it a nice uh, solid color so come at the come here at the top at the view toolbar under visibility graphics these are all the layers used in our model select all and under the cut column select anywhere overwrite and doesn't matter foreground or background select the solid fill and choose I usually choose a grayish color not very black more gray than black hit OK apply now everything that's been cut is filled with a gray color uh, usually I also change the color of my ground layers that are being cut and currently shown as with a gray color select uh, my select the ground uh, layers right click override graphics by element and again solid color and this time I'm going to select a yellowish color and a very light move it upwards to make it very very light hit apply and there it is as you can see this looks much much nicer than the standardized sectional uh, architectural section view it can be used for uh, presentation purposes mainly um, I usually also change the name rename the 3d view for good reference so we know how to get back to it We'll name it 3D section. 3D section. So what we did as a recap, we placed the camera, which is currently not shown, to show the camera again. Right click on the 3D view, show camera. We placed the camera pointing face on onto the building. A little bit further away than the actual uh, building to make it look like a cross section and then in our uh, 3d view we enabled the section box and moved the location of the section box to the position where we want our section to start from after that we changed some uh, display options using shadows ambient shadows and cast shadows and uh, added some uh, fill colors to all of our cut elements very easy process and you can use this to create similar awesome 3d sectional views for your presentations thank you for watching